Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to Minecraft 1.5. No, not really. It's actually a pre-release. And I'm making this pre-release because, well, next week it's going to be coming out on a Wednesday. And that Wednesday I usually don't do snapshots. So next Thursday will be probably a little special episode. Um, I'm going to be showing you two builds that I'm going to be doing for my single player world eventually whenever I get to it. So I'm actually going to be doing that for next Thursday. And I think it'd be a good time for me to talk about most of the updates in this episode for today. Uh, just because there's a bunch of stuff. I can't technically talk about everything. That is the one reason why I do these snapshots on Thursdays or whenever they're released. So I'm going to be running through most of the updates. Like I said, I'm not going to be talking about everything. Uh, mainly the stuff that's shown here. So um, the first thing that is probably noticeable in this update are going to be hoppers. Um, they're going to be definitely used for, you know, getting, you know, one item to another place. Uh, hoppers can work with hoppers, chests, uh, mine cards, uh, brewing stands, dispensers, and I guess droppers, you know, I guess now they have droppers. So it should work with droppers. Um, uh, furnace, minecraft, mine carts with furnaces and furnaces. So this is kind of like a typical setup that you do. Um, double chests, uh, only, uh, they actually only work with the side that they're over. So it does get a little tricky on like, you know, chests and whatnot. So that's that. Um, then we have trap chests. That's how you make it. They activate redstone once open. So I did a little Zelda opening chest sound. So that's pretty cool. Uh, our next item is our daylight sensor. This is how you make it. Three glass, three never, nether quartz, and three wooden slabs. So if I make it nighttime, all the lights turn on. Oh yeah. And it's all activated by redstone. Over here, uh, we can come over to the weighted pressure plates. Um, they both, there's two. Uh, one is more heavier, or one needs more items than the other. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but, um, so one stack of 64 activates those three redstone, um, the iron, if I do the same thing, it only activates two. So there's clearly a difference. I don't know the exact amount of items that each one needs, but yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And that's how you make them. And, uh, coming over to our other items, we have the new dropper and this is how you make it. Oh yeah. So the dropper is, it's more of like taking the dispenser, what the dispenser used to be, and cutting it in half. So basically now what we have is kind of like yin and yang. So I'm not going to say what's what, but the dispenser basically will now dispense items. Uh, so for example, like arrows, they will shoot. Droppers, they will drop. So obviously if, a drop, if, a, if an item like, you know, a dropper in a dropper, it's obviously going to drop it. Um, a dropper in, you know, like a dropper in a dispenser will probably still drop it. But arrows, for example, if you had it in a dispenser, it would shoot it. But in a dropper, it will drop it. So, yeah, that's uh, very, very useful. Um, oh, yeah. Also, hoppers. Yeah, th th these are hoppers, right? I'm, I'm just... Yeah, okay. I'm just I'm thinking something else. Uh, yeah, hoppers in minecarts as well. So another thing I should go through. Actually, not yet. Not yet. No, we're not, we're not, we're not going to do that yet. I'm not, not, not going to go through the inventory. So our next item um, is snow. Snow can now be used in a creative method. Uh, you take four snowballs to make a snow block. Then you take three snow blocks, put it into a line in the crafting table, and it will create six snow slabs. I guess you'd consider it. And what you can do is you can do all this and you can stack it. So it's a very, very creative way, but in survival. So that's very unique. Um, here's my little test subject for um, the gl lighting glitches with the half slabs and stuff. Um, or like the, I don't know what I'm trying to say, uh, like that. But it's less, it's not as a, as it used to be. So that's, you know, they're trying to fix it. You know, they're trying to fix it. Uh, here's a little test subject I was doing with redstone. I actually use it here. When you stand on it, it'll flip it. And when you get off. So before I used to ha have it standing and it'd flip, 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 flip. Now it's an actual machine and it turns on and off. Or opens and closes. 
yeah, I guess open close. So with the brand new red or with 1.5, it's considered the redstone update. Uh, with the redstone update, uh, we have some new items. Uh, the first one is a redstone block. Make it like this. And it acts the same way as a redstone torch. It travels 15 blocks. So there you go. Over here, we have the daylight sensor. Um, because it is nighttime, it is not working at all. So because it's not working at all, you will basically get no power from it. So it's, um, it's adjust, it, it basically has an adjustable redstone signal and it, it can be used in some uh, projects. Um, I remember seeing this on Reddit and it's basically a clock tower. I will be using this design in my single player world. So yeah, that's, that's, that's it. But it looks, it's really big. Um, I don't think you can get any smaller for how it functions. So I'm probably gonna have to do just one sided clock tower. It look, it might look a little weird, but maybe it'll be like a big Ben thing, but, uh, but yeah, continue on. This is a redstone comparator. It will compare a redstone single from side A to side B. And it basically has the functionality of comparing them and adding or like subtracting like a certain signal strength. I'm never going to be using these, so I can't talk too much about it. Um, Obviously, there's going to be people out there that do know what it is. There's going to be, you know, devices for it. So that's that. Uh, and this is how you make it. Three redstone, nether quartz, and three stone blocks. Bam. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Uh, redstone blocks can be used by, moved by pistons. Oh, yeah. Moved by pistons. So let's go into the nether. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, before I go into the nether, um, I want to say that um, there has been a big change with bone meal. Bone meal now has some cool, well, it has cool effects, but it's been nerfed. So if I have here, I have these are dispensers, bone meal, and you see how it kind of glitters and stuff. Bone meal is now not as powerful as it used to be. So you need to take about, I think like three to two to four pieces of bone meal to actually grow one piece. Um, it's very nerfed. So keep that in mind for any future gameplays. So let's go into the nether because there's some cool updates. So in the nether, uh, there are some new blocks and this, oh, actually I kind of mined half of them out, but we have now have nether quartz ore in the nether. And this is what you get for nether quartz. Um, nether quartz ore does work with silk touch. So if you mine one, you could get the, you know, the average silk touch. No, not silk touch. Uh, fortune, fortune pickaxe. Um, another cool thing is if you take um, nether rack, you can now smelt it. And once you smelt it, you get nether bricks. And when you craft that into another or a block pattern, you get nether brick so bricks brick bricks brick so now you can actually take all that mined up nether rack and now smelt it into something very very useful so yeah it's pretty useful right 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 now our next item is the nether or no not the nether the quartz so we have a lot of design features with quartz um, so this is how you make a block. This is how you make a uh, pillar quartz block. Uh, this is how you make quartz slabs. This is how you make the stairs. And now all of this is just with the basic uh, another block of quartz. And this is how you make the chiseled. And all you you basically can do whatever you want with it. There's half slabs. You know you can. Any, the only thing that there isn't is fences. So there's everything, like d every design, you know, block that there is. So that's very cool. I like it. Uh, I don't know if I'll be, I don't know if I'll be using them in my world. I can't think of like anything I could use it for, but uh, yeah, it's definitely there. And uh, I think for the updates that I can think of right now, guys, um, that's really all I have for uh, to show you. Um, there's a lot of more features like canoe commands, uh, new death messages. There's a bunch of new stuff. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, there's going to be a download link for the pre-release in the description below. Um, so you can obviously check that out. Um, 
And I think this is going to be it for today's episode, guys. Like I said, this is I, I can't talk about everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, like I said, if you do want to get this snapshot yourself, check out the description. I have a Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is it for probably the last 1.5 pre-release talking video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm DJ Nine, and I'll see you guys in another video. I'm out. Peace.